we'll be able to describe how to get users input from keyboard uh, so we have already seen raw input right we have already say uh, you know the raw input takes your uh, command from the keyword your input from the keyword and then prints it there you can also use input now i have an example to show no. okay now instead of executing it uh, just like that right let me execute it using my you know python cell okay now look at the indentation is is this correct indentation i don't know let let me just run this see it's asking what's your name okay now it makes uh, you know if you if whenever uh, you are trying to or whenever you are writing a lot of code you know it always makes sense for you to write it in one of these ids you know it's it's very helpful here if you do not give proper indentation it will directly show you error here or you know if you have any problem it's it's very easy to debug in in pycharm or any other id that you might uh, uh, find it uh, you know easy so what's your name i say uh, abc what's your age let's say 21 and you see this user entered name as abc the type of abc is string user entered age is 21 and type is int right i did not give any type here okay i just said raw input what's your name and then assigned it here input you know it just takes as age right so so basically the difference between your raw input and input is that the return type of raw input is always a string okay that's one thing you have to remember there is raw input here and there is input and this need not be string uh, uh, you know python will judge as to what best data type that it will fit so in case you have entered number you know, it, it will just take number okay it will just take it as integer or uh, you know or any other data type for that matter right but if it is raw input it is uh, you know string and then i just uh, username is entered as name you know just entered this name here and kept it and and then printed it the age is the same again the type of the name is uh, print type name the age is string of age and age is type of age okay in even in that case right let's uh, let's see here but uh, we did not see the type right last time okay sorry see this uh, prasang does that make sense now it will take the value you see this here type it does not uh, you know it it it's it does not make any difference the way you are viewing the data but internal the way it is stored is uh, there is a difference it's it's a new line sayed slash n is a new line i mean okay uh, prasan does it make sense now yes no okay smiley i'm i mean uh, okay okay excellent because whenever I, uh, guys, uh, whenever I ask, I ask questions, uh, please at least give me a smiley because then I would un understand the, that uh, you know you have understood it. Otherwise, uh, you know there'll be there's no way that I can understand uh, as to what's happening there. So, Sayed, let me remove this for you, right? Let let me remove new line for you, and then so right now with new line in place, you see this the the here you see this mouse button or or wherever you have to uh, enter your data it's in the next line right and then i say abc here and even for the other one it is you know it's it's in the next line now if i remove this new line now let's see what happens see it's it's along with this in the same line it's it's asking me to provide an input okay so that's the significance of new line and 
you see this reads the input and returns a string, reads the inputs and return a Python type like list, tuple, integer, etc, etc. I mean it can be either complex type or, or normal type, it can return anything. Okay. 